bags and I was new. I just sat in one corner and all the top actors were just oppressing me. Frederick walked past me and said, are you okay? And it was the first time somebody was asking me if I was okay. So I was like, yeah, 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 I'm okay, I'm fine. So we passed. And then another day I saw Frederick, I wanted to shoot a movie. And you know, the director, AGK, are you here? God bless you. Um, and he insisted that Frederick could play the role. So Frederick came and Frederick, Frederick just was there for me. Um, as entertainers, we all know that people always, um, they're always selfish. They think of just themselves. But Frederick was just one person that just wanted everything to go right. Even though he didn't know me. So after that movie, I called him up and I said, can you tell me more about yourself? And then he told me and I was inspired. Babe, I don't want to go through everything. You, have, you and I have been through a lot. It's been a lot of struggles. It's been a lot of breakups as well. <laughs> um, you've gone, I've gone. I've come back, you've come back. You are like a father to me, but my father is here and I love you, daddy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> but Frederick is, Frederick is my best friend. Even though he can be very controlling. <laughs> uh, but Frederick loves me. I've seen you fight so many people for me. I've seen you say, I've seen people say, why not an Igbo girl? And I've seen you say, it is pain. And for that, my husband. I will love you. I will learn to be a better woman. Babe, I will never be perfect. I will still fight you. <laughs> I will still protect you. I have protected protected you from the first day we met. When I met Freddie, Frederick was not this female that everybody knew. But I see on the internet and everybody say, Peggy, you're lucky, Peggy, you're lucky. People don't know what I've been through. I have stood by this man. But most importantly, I have met a man who says, Peggy, I will take care of you. Be patient. He promised me that he's going to spoil me. And Frederick has been spoiling me, silly. And I just hope that this goes out to the internet. Every girl should be patient. I have been patient. I have always been a hardworking woman. All my friends know. You you understand. Um, but when I met Frederick, I saw a man that was willing to to make money. I saw a man that is not a womanizer. And most importantly, that is why I stayed for this long, babe. Please don't change. <laughs> Frederick is one man I can beat my chest on, despite what everyone is saying, that he doesn't womanize. <laughs> Sometimes I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. <laughs> but I will love you. I will respect you. You will always be the crown on my head. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Thank you for waking up in the morning and say, babe, let's pray. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Frederick doesn't stop praying. 
Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. <laughs> Freddie wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is a good man. And when I met Frederick Smartin, he had a girlfriend. But then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it. Peggy, stay. Until tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I will get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Pray, pray for him. Listen to him. Encourage him. That is all that I have done on these years. It got to it got to a point. I thought that Freddie would not marry me. I'm like, Frederick, I'm a fine girl. You're wasting my time. <laughs> And he'll be like, wait, 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 wait. I know there are rich guys chasing you. I will marry you. And babe, this has been a long journey. You'll always be my best friend. If we don't fight, who will I fight with? <laughs> Frederick will be shooting. I will call him for minor things. He'll say, babe, I'm shooting. he say, hey, yeah, but what, what do you want me to tell? Thank you for being a brother to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not seeing me as um, someone who's not from your tribe, but she's yet, babe. And remember when I met Freddie, everybody like, he will not marry an Anambra guy. Anambra people don't marry robots. <laughs> Who tell you? <laughs> <laughs> but Frederick has kept to his promise. And babe, in front of the world and everyone that is witnessing today, I want to say that from the belly of my heart, from, from the deepest, deepest of her, baby, you know I'm not a long talker like you, but you know that I love you. Thank you for planning our finance. Thank you, thank you for making, making sure that we grow together. Thank you for holding my hands and saying, babe, you are going to make a big mistake. Don't do this. I appreciate you. I'll always be a stubborn girl. You have to deal with it for the rest of your life. You'll always be a stubborn man, and I will deal with it for the rest of life, my life. Thank you. But I will never cheat on you. I know that's your biggest fear. I want to say that God has blessed us. You and I know that God has blessed us. And we are grateful to God. He has blessed you. He has blessed me. And I want you to know that I love you. I will always love you. No matter what happens. Ours will be different. Amen. They say entertainers' marriage don't last. Yes. We will last. Amen. 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 We will be an inspiration to the younger ones. Amen. <laughs> we would love each other. We will show people how it is to love one another. <laughs> we will have the number of kids we want. <laughs> And for everyone that is here to witness hey. our love, thank you. It's been Let's seven talk. years. Oh. Let's talk. <laughs> seven years now. And Frederick Leonard, I am now your wife. Yes! I love you and God bless you for me. Amen! I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman.